welcome to Wellness Woodbridge. I'm your host, Ann Mazza of Vito Mazza Salon and Spa and Hair and Scalp Wellness. So excited to be back again in studio to tape another show today. Today we have Robin Krippa here and she is with Hackensack Meridian Health. We're gonna talk about the many, many services that we have available to the community through this wonderful hospital network. So Robin, Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be able to let you know your town folk know what we have and what's available to everyone in the community. Excellent, excellent. I know a lot about what you do and I would just like you to share with everyone at home um, your role and how you help everybody here. Yeah, so I am officially the Community Partnership Manager for Hackensack Meridian Health in Community Outreach and Engagement. Um, I do many, many different things. Um, one of the most important things I want to say is things like this, getting the word out and um, doing all different kinds of programs and services for the community at large. I laugh when I say this because people kind of look at me strangely. We want to keep you out of the hospital. We want to keep you well. I mean, that's the most important thing to us at Hackensack Meridian Health, that we're all in good health and we're going about our day. We know that, you know, it's very trying times right now, different things that are going on um, and everything is, you know, very been COVID based focused. Um, but we do need to take care of our health as well. Um, I would be remiss not to say that our hospitals are open, they're safe to come to, our physician's offices are safe, we have cleaning protocols, screening protocols. Do not wait to seek the care that you need. Um, for the longest time, we were hearing that people were afraid to come, having chest pain, different things happening. Um, you know, again, I can't reiterate enough how safe it is to come and seek help from your physician, your hospital services, um, you know, and we're here to provide that. Uh, one of the important things that we do in our department is we go out and we teach people how to keep themselves well. We do a lot of educational programs, um, you know, in person at different senior centers. You know, uh, we work with the school systems. Uh, we work with local community groups. We also have programs at the hospitals at some of our offsite locations that are uh, open to the general public. Um, prior to COVID, um, then COVID hit and we actually went virtual. So we have probably four to five webinars a week that we provide all educational, um, mostly hosted by physicians and health educators, which is, it's been great. Um, for our department, it was definitely a new uh, way of doing things, you know, sure. being out and about and, and hands-on and being in front of people is one thing, but um, being virtual is a little bit different, so we definitely got adjusted to it. Um, we are now starting to come out again as, you know, businesses are opening up, as different community groups are opening up. We're getting requests to do different things. We actually have been meeting with different uh, members of the township, like the recreation department and other departments, talking about the things we can partner and do together. So that's very exciting. Um, so again, we do things like educational programs. So we educate from the very, very small in our community to, you know, people of all different ages. We talk about um, wellness programs, things like how to keep your heart healthy, how to lower your cholesterol, complications of diabetes, um, things that can help you, um, you know, when you're pre-diabetic, we have cooking shows that we provide, um, many, many children's programs, things like Safe Sitter. We have a whole vaping program. We have a CPR program for the kids. Um, we actually have um, the Positive Action Team. That's our, you know, Disney-esque characters that go out. We have three characters, um, Dr. Bernard and their team. So I'm sure many of the kids have seen them at different programs. Right. We were actually just did a walk with the doc program with um, the county and we've been doing Healthy Kids Day events with the YMCAs and the county as well, where the characters come out and they do different education programs, which is great things on bullying and, you know, um, nutrition and exercise, why that's important for the kids as well. Um, 
many, many different things, you know, health screenings. I could go it's on and so on. It's so refreshing <laughs> to hear that we're talking about something other than COVID. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because it's not the only illness. Exactly. And, you know, I know myself from working with cancer patients, mm-hmm. you know, and being at Raritan Bay, um, well, not Raritan Bay anymore, but Hackensack Meridian Old Bridge Campus, you know, that's what I'm doing, working with cancer patients through sure. all of this because that doesn't go away and it hasn't gone away. No. So the focus does need to be on other illnesses and other uh, forms of awareness and education. And I know from sitting together on the um, Mayor's Wellness Committee, we're able to all come together and talk about that education and awareness and bringing Correct. that to the community. So sure. it is vital yes. um, to hear that we have that available. And I think that this hospital network being right here is really bringing sure. that full circle and working together where we used to have hospitals that were a little bit more segregated mm-hmm. doing their own thing. Now it seems like more of a family partnership. Correct. And, and that's what the networks are. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to date myself. So I was 10 when I started in, in healthcare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I've been a little bit about over 30 years, um, you know, not originally from the state, but um, not that you can't tell. Um, but I worked in health networks in New York, and then when I moved over to New Jersey, I actually um, came into this network prior um, to moving over here, and, and then we made the move, and, and I've been with the company for 21 years, Wonderful. and I've watched it really grow, and how a network works, and and the good things that it brings. You know, you, if you have a service at one hospital, you may not have it at the local one, you know, that's right down the street from you, but because you're in the health network, three towns over, that hospital and the health network would have those services afforded Absolutely. to you. Um, so for anybody that doesn't know locally to this area, as you were saying, Raritan Bay. So we have Raritan Bay, the Perth Amboy campus, as well as Old Bridge. And we also have um, JFK, which is a Hackensack Meridian Health Hospital as well in Edison. And all very local. Right yeah, there, very Bridge. local. And they all have some great programs. I mean, JFK, their rehab is second to none. Yes. I mean, if anybody knows about it, it's... Their neuro program is amazing, the things that they have. And, you know, Raritan Bay, the two local, you know, Old Bridge and Perth Amboy have a lot going on. Recently, we finished the pediatric care center at Perth Amboy, Wonderful. which is exciting. And um, in phases, as you know, Old Bridge has yeah. a $39 million expansion project, which is, you know, the um, emergency department emergency as well there's a brand new concourse that they just opened the concourse part parking we talked about yes. the other day um, so it's just bringing you know the the health network brings just so much growth yeah. um, you know whether it's the physical building or it's a program and a service you know and in community outreach and engagement we service all of the market areas. There's something that we have talked about on, on our wellness committee called the Community Health Needs Assessment. Yeah. So that is really our roadmap of what we do out in the community. Um, for those that don't know, every three years we do a community health needs assessment. Each hospital within the network has their own done. Um, it's mandated by the federal government that we do this every three years and basically we're surveying for each hospital market area the leaders in the community, the community at large, health care professionals, to find out what are the needs in the community. So we're targeting the right things. So, you know, I just say like Perth Amboy, diabetes is a huge issue. Now, I want to say diabetes is probably a huge issue in most of our hospital market areas. For So for us and community outreach, knowing that, we plan programs around that, whether it is, you know, a webinar, an in-person educational program, or health screenings. So I, I didn't talk about, we have free health screenings. We go out, we do things like blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar, stroke risk assessment, and I can you know, go on more. And those things are used to identify a need. So if you, if we do your cholesterol and find, find that you know, you're, you're out of range, you will sit with the nurse and the nurse will explain to you, you know, what the findings are mm-hmm. and what you can do and the programs and services that we have that you may want to tap into 
Um, because the most important thing is stopping an issue before it becomes so big yes. that you have to be hospitalized. Preventative care. Yeah, preventative. And, and that's absolutely what we do is we go out and we educate and do preventative to help identify. We have another program called AngioScreen, which you may have heard of, where it's a little, I want to say it's like kind of the next level of screenings where we screen to see if you're at risk for a heart attack or a stroke. So, you know, if we find something, you get sent, well, you, for all the results, we ask them to take to your physician, good, bad, or indifferent, just so they know that you've had this screening done, and it screens for the carotid arteries, as well as um, AAA in your stomach, and, you know, the blood pressure in your arms and your legs to make sure that the blood is flowing to see you know, if something's not flowing correctly, then there's something there that might be causing an issue. So how would our community find out when you have these screenings and where to go for them? Perfect, so um, Hackensack Meridian Health website, it's uh, hackensackmeridianhealth.org backslash events. That's our community calendar of events. So that'll tell you when we're having a webinar, if we're out and about, you know, doing a screening, angio screening. Um, pretty much, we do once a month. Um, and you're at, currently out doing. Oh that. yes, absolutely. So um, angio screen. We started about five months ago. I want to say we started coming back out. We do them um, at our hospital locations in one of our conference rooms, so that's on our calendar. We also take them to local businesses, so if someone invites us to come in and to screen their team members, we'll do that. Um, we sometimes a community center will host them, like a senior center or a community center. Um, and pretty much we're at most of our hospitals once a month doing it there. Um, sometimes we just rotate it around. So um, yeah, so these preventative Great. screenings are amazing because they do find stuff. I will tell you, um, I can tell you firsthand that they do find things that you need to follow up on. We've had, especially with the angio screen, we've had patients that have had to be brought to surgery right away, um, to our cath labs because they have a blockage, or they may find something anecdotally that they have to so you're you know, follow lives, up on. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> Without that's a actually huge benefit yeah, to our yeah. community. It really, yeah. really is. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the whole idea behind mm -hmm. this show. It's the education, it's awareness, it's Correct. preventative care. And I think that the more we can get that word out there, the more healthy our community is going to be. So Yeah. And I would be remiss not to say we I have an awesome team. I mean we have, you know, some we're very um skeletal on the full time team that goes out and, you know, makes relationships, sit on coalitions and and, and that kind of thing. And then we have a per diem team of nurses and ultrasound techs, um, and regular, you know, people like us who don't have clinical um, who do different things and they go out and they um, perform these screenings and do like the positive action team and, and they're just I want to say they all love what they do and it's really important a lot of them have many many years working in the hospital so they bring out a great wealth of knowledge you know and and then we partner with physicians and and nurses and nurse practitioners throughout the network who, who do that kind of thing as well and they love to talk about what they do and and educate and help people too because again their mission is the same thing we need to treat the really, really sick, and we need to help the rest of the community be well so you stay out of the hospitals and, and, and you're able to live a fulfilled and, and normal life. Well, it sounds so beneficial to yeah. us, and I think it's, it's great. just, it's amazing. It seems like in such a short time, the network has been able to accomplish so much. Oh, yeah. So that's been a huge benefit, and I can't believe how quickly, you know, things are coming together. So it's it's really a wonderful, wonderful thing to see and, and to witness. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, you know, we're very proud of what we do, and, and I'm very proud to work for Hackensack Meridian Health. There's a lot out there that we have that people probably don't know about that's local to them. So, and and... I always say to people, you know, when you're moving into a new area, 
make yourself aware of what's available because you just don't know. God forbid when an emergency happens and you have to get in that ambulance and, you know, you ha most of the time, you know, if, if they say we're going to take you, you know, let's say I'm making it up to Raritan Bay Old Bridge, like you don't want to be a deer in a headlight and be like, where is that? You know, what, what do they have there? Is that where I should be going? And, you know, you, you want to make yourself aware yeah. uh, of the different needs you have and get a little bit connected. Um, we do have the Health You magazine that comes out and most residents in our market area does get that. Yeah. A lot of patient stories about people, what they had and how they were helped. Our calendar of events are in there as well. Okay. Um, so you can find stuff there um, to see when we're out and about. And where would they pick up that magazine? So it gets mailed to your home. Okay. A lot of people do get that. We do bring it out with us. We have a, I, we like to call it our wellness on wheels. Our mobile van comes out with us sometimes. So you may have seen okay. that out on the road. Um, we can do screenings on there as well. Um, sometimes we have it. We may be at a local park. We may be at a race. I know Woodbridge, which we oh, probably races. need to talk about the, the three big events, like yes. how we can be out there with you guys as well. So sometimes you'll see the van doing that, um, you know, with the team on it. So it's, it's a lot of good things going on, you know. Um, I would be remiss not to talk a little bit about COVID. Um, okay. I'm sure everyone knows, you know, vaccines are everywhere, but I do want to let, you know, the town know that the hospitals, all of Hackensack Meridian Health Hospitals are now open for walk-ins, so you don't need to make an appointment. Um, it's 8.30 to 5, I believe, um, and you just walk in. It's for 12 12 and above now that we're able to vaccinate the younger population as well. Um, certainly you can go on our website, hackensackmeridianhealth.org. I believe it's backslash COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And that could tell you as well too, if you wanna find out specific, you can make an appointment. So some people I know, they like to know, they don't wanna go and have to wait. You can make an appointment too. Um, but also exciting news, we're going mobile with the vaccines. Okay. So keep your eyes out, you know, in the local papers, also our website where we'll be, you know, with the van or in, we may be at a local church. You never know where we might pop up. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. So yeah. it's really making it very readily available. Yes. You know, at one point everyone was just nervous, mm -hmm. are they ever going to get one? And now mm -hmm. they are readily available for those who are going to do that. So it's wonderful. Sure, sure. Yeah. So. That's great. So a lot of great things happening, yeah. a lot of great events, mm -hmm. um, so much to look forward to. Everyone's out and about, and we can just keep educating everyone on all these great services that yeah. we have to offer. So that again, just to recap, they can go to the website mm -hmm. if they'd like to find out and backslash events, hackensackmeridian.org. Hackensackmeridianhealth.org. <laughs> Close. Well, you'll find, they'll find <laughs> it if they Google it too. I forget sometimes as well. Um, but yeah, but um, probably should go back a little bit about that community health needs assessment. I know we kind of okay. digressed and went the other way. So what I was saying is that's our roadmap. So we're able to find out like what um, each you know hospital's market area, what are the things that are prevalent and we should focus on. And I would be remiss to say too, if anybody has any interest, that is also on our website okay. under, um, hackensackmeridianhealth.org, um, and they could just backslash down to um, community benefit. Mm -hmm. And each hospital report for each you know hospital that we have is there, as well as what we call the CHIP, our Community Health Improvement Plan. And that's really our roadmap of what we do, why we do it, where we go, bringing out the things that, that are showing you know a need in, in your town and market area. So. Just a little food for thought. If anybody wants to look at it, there's some interesting things in there. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you've learned so much by mm -hmm. you know getting that information. And I know as a wellness committee, we're going to be looking at it yes. ourselves just to see what topics we need to address and you know how we can educate and you know bring more to the community. So that'll be very interesting to see yeah. because we don't know what exactly the needs are of each area that Correct. we're in. Correct, yeah. And each one of those hospitals that we have surrounding us here has a specialization in a way, 
Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, um, Raritan Bay, both campuses are very much community hospitals. So they have a lot of different things, but you know, one may have something that the other, like I was saying before, um, where JFK, you know, medical center, they have, you know, JRI is within the hospital as well. And they may have some services and testing and programs that, you know, Old Bridge and Perth don't have, so yeah. It's mm -hmm. very important, and it's it's great for our community to go to that site and educate oh, themselves sure. on which hospital would be best for whatever their specific yeah. needs are. Yeah, you know, it, it's definitely important to know. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, you know, be an expert and know no. everything, but, you know, a lot of people do research now, and it's important, sure. you know what I mean? But one of the things I'd like to say is that we have great care local. I mean, many people think that you have to leave and go like to New York to get certain things. I mean, we're a 17 hospital network. We have a lot to offer and the other networks too, too, sure. you know. So you really don't have to seek care outside of the region. So and that's important. And how about important. finding physicians? Can they yeah. find that on that website as sure. well? Sure, so if you go on the website on the main page, we have a tab that you can click find a physician and you would type in and it prompts you like what you're looking for, what area you're located, you know, what specialty, that kind of thing. And for someone who's not com uh, computer savvy, and I should have uh, said this earlier, we do have a call center you can call into to find programs and events as well as physicians and services. So that's 1-800-560-9990. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the magic number. So you don't if you if you're not computer savvy, you can give them a call and it'll prompt you whether that's you're looking great. for an event or a physician. That's wonderful. Yeah. And maybe even a COVID vaccine. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So good stuff going on. This is great, Robin. You've been so Aww. wonderful to be here with us today and educate us on all of these services and I really think this show in particular is going to give people you know, a lot of new information that I don't even think they even knew was available. Oh, so, Well, I'm glad to help. And, and like I said, and we talk on the committee, anything we could do to partner, you know, with the town or a business or, you know, the schools, we've been in and out with like the positive team and, and some of the other programs. I mean, certainly we would love to do more. There's always plenty to do. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think as things are opening up, there'll be more and more available as sure. well. And it's so wonderful to hear that you have been offering it online so people can take advantage of that as well. Yeah, and we talk about that it was a whole new world for us, but even though we're coming out and about, we're gonna keep a little bit still going on in the virtual world because we've had such great feedback and attendance as well. And I think, you know, if someone's working and they can't make a program that we have during the day, it would be great to offer, you know, something similar online so they can either be live and watch it or they can see the recording. It's a great resource. And yeah. I think that, you know, we've all learned to appreciate that, you know, mm -hmm. over this time in COVID. But I think that that is a wonderful resource to bring light to as well. Yeah. But it's nice to be out. <laughs> yes, it is. It's nice to see your face. Oh. We've been on so many meetings no. where we're just talking and, and hearing each other's voice, but it is great to be here, you know, yeah. with you today. And I thank you so much for your time oh. and for your talents and for all that you've done to help people and educate people. Oh. I hope so. I make a little bit of an impact. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you and do. And thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It was great to be with you. And thank you for joining us today on Wellness Woodbridge. We've really enjoyed this time with you and we look forward to bringing you more and more topics, more education and raising your awareness in the future about the many health issues that we have and that we're happy to help you with. So thanks so much and have a wonderful rest of the day.